I can do that. There we go. We have Swiss Rider and DNA. So he's trying out the snake, and this Dr. Mario is new to me. Maybe someone at home knows who this mysterious doctor is. Oh, my man's just trying to kill that high recovery. God, goodness gracious. I do like Dr. Mario, like, as in. Not do like a straight clone of Mario. I do like that he brings a power element to things that is not really what's what I'm looking for. Not really common among you know brawlers of his size and stature. Mm -hmm. Usually, when you see like big, like big beefy hits, they belong to like Incineroar characters that are stockier or slower. Well, he is very slow, but you know, yeah. Do you do you know? Fun fact. Do you know the reason why Dr. Mario is as slow as he is? Is it? Why? There's there's actual Smash lore to this. Why is it? Because he didn't spend his years training and he got his degree instead. Uh, you're not you're not uh you're halfway there. I I hate that. <laughs> so his trophy in melee, like his classic trophy, it says he is heavier in this game and all other games. He is heavier and slower because his PhD is weighing him down. My man is so accomplished, he cannot move. He's just got mad papers. Uh, <laughs> then how do we explain that his Nair gets stronger? You know what, maybe he, he's a, you know, he has a PhD now. He probably knows something about the patented sex kick snares that uh, most other characters don't. Yeah, he bro really broke down the science of neutral area. I will stick this leg out, and uh, gravity will do re the rest of the work for me. I'll proceed to start flexing, and I will get stronger for it. Go recovery there, actually. Especially since it's, uh, compared to Mario's at least, it's not great. Oh, he got, <laughs> he got blowed up. By big beefy mortars. Okay. We are just swinging now. No punish. Thought you could at least like threaten an uptill from there. Maybe not. Running right into it. That's probably. Uh, I want to wow. see. Like, I, I think this is a skill that should, you know, be honed regardless of any fighting game you play, but especially versus Solid Snake. You want to, like, be able to control your character without looking at them all the time, so you don't get blown up by random C4s and what have you. Yeah, that, that's something that, like, uh, the lower mid level players, like, like, one of the things you need to learn as you improve is to kind of just, like, know where your character is without having to look at him. Your eyes should always be on your opponent, so that increases your time, your to window react. to react, you know. Uh, like, you can tell when someone runs across the stage and gets hit, and you're like, you weren't looking at me at all. Um, but yeah, Oh, versus, that was about to be filthy. Versus a character like Snake, you do occasionally need to check your character just to, like, if you haven't play place like constant note of like where things like C4 are. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit weird as a Ooh. as a brawl player. Uh, C4 is a bit harder to, to track in this game. I think it's mainly because of like the higher resolution, so it's, it's able to be smaller. Yeah. You know. And it doesn't help that a lot of our favorite stages like PS2 have predominantly like darker backgrounds. I guess, but it is still a bright green stage. Oh uh, yeah, that for sure. Yeah. But camera angles will sometimes like mm -hmm. obscure that. Yeah, you can put it on the you can put on the outline of the Pokeball. Honestly, they could habit. they could do that thing where 
I've been playing a lot of multiverses, so this is fresh in my mind. They can do that thing where, like, if there's something on the screen, you can either, like, zoom out the camera even further, or just have a marker saying, oh, this thing is here. I'm going to flash a symbol of some sort way over here. Mm-hmm. Uh, do we want to stay on Swiss? I'm fine with staying here. All right. It's all good. Of course, if chat has, uh... Yeah, uh, chat, if you have any, uh preference to another match. You can see the corresponding numbers in the bottom right of each of the boxes and vote for what you want uh, and uh, we'll probably just oblige. It'll show up on stream so that we know what has the most votes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. I'm going to run it back to PS2 because well, we know we know this song and dance by now. Mm -hmm. All I will say is... Oh my goodness. All I will say more about the try and true statement is Luminosity is brave for their recent stage decisions, and I don't wholly disagree. Yeah. I just think DSR sucks. Yeah, the only thing I disagree with is DSR. Just add another, uh, add another band. Or don't. Honestly, two bands is enough, guys. They're counter picks, but whatever. Um, I think we might uh, want to follow some of the majors. Uh, Supernova will be using that rule set, so it might be beneficial. Oh, that's, yeah, that's going to be a big deal. Yeah. Anyway. And then watch all the top players gentlemen the PS2 anyway, because I, yeah. Sheeple! So, something I was going to say is that, like, for this matchup, like, Dr. Mario is famously not a fast character. Not uh, in the slightest. I would not want to play Snake here. I would want to go to a more closed-in stage. Um, but... There, there's a, a bit of a one of Snake's better stages is uh, like Smashville, just because he has the, the platform yes, covers I agree. so much of the stage. Um, so it is a little bit of a double-edged sword. Like you definitely want like more open stuff versus Snake. Um, but yeah, just him able to have a uh, be that far away from the ledge while also having a roof over his head and with all the tricky movement that Snake is capable of can be pretty spooky. You know I know, I know he wasn't close enough to, but for some reason I felt he was going to get hit. Yeah. But uh, I mean, DNA's keeping it pretty even right now. Uh, you know, it, I would probably say Snake is still winning, uh, just because like he's a heavier character. Yeah. Um, definitely harder to catch. Harder he can, he can catch. definitely afford to trade. I would say two popcorn is advancing over mustard. That must have been a two L. Two Popcorn made it out of uh, Pulls and Saga, right? I believe so, yes. I think he got pretty far. I want to say he was like at least um, winner's I quarters. I should have the uh, the the Saga top 8 graphic up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, I just... Oh god, so many things. But, yeah. Hero working man, I get it. So many meetings. Summer of Smash looking crazy. Anyway, all right. So this is very close. Yeah. About to close this one out. So this is definitely like this is definitely you know okay. Swiss. Where, where, where are we aiming? Point. But uh, this is definitely one of those things where uh, Snake is a hard character to like. He's pretty slippery. Which is again, brother. Do you have Smash Stick on? Explain. Maybe. What are the odds that DNA takes us all the way back right here and now? I what mean, are the odds? Uh, Never mind! Not, not, not zero. Okay, Swiss takes that 2-0. Good job, Swiss! You've done it again. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, I mean, that. I, I would like to see a change in venue. Uh, like, don't go to PS2 uh, always. Um, Dr. Mario doesn't really get to take advantage of, like... All the space just because of how slow he is. That and is a Mario stage, not a Doc stage. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's a great way to put it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that game just ended, so we will go to Wex and.